Hi, welcome to Today at Cyport. I am your gracious host, Greg Andrews, the Planetarium Manager. Thank you very much for joining me for this session of Constellation Stories. Today, we will be discussing the story of Draco the Dragon. Please feel free to comment below, or you may email me at gandrews at cyport.org. Let's get started. In order to find the constellation of Draco, we first must find the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. You can see that there's the Big Dipper and there's the Little Dipper. In between those two stick figures is a series of faint stars. It looks like a weird S or a number two perhaps, but that constellation that is in between the Big Dipper and Little Dipper is the constellation of Draco the Dragon. According to the legends, the constellation of Draco right there is supposed to be a dragon, a very scary dragon. There are multiple stories about him, but I'll share one of the popular ones. Draco, according to one legend, is a giant tease or basically a giant. In the beginning of Earth, there were two types of people, the Olympians and the Giantes. The Olympians, whom we recognize as Apollo, Ares, Athena, Zeus, Artemis, etc., they all lived in this place above Earth that was known as Mount Olympus. They looked like normal human beings and they possessed superpowers. The giants lived on the earth and they possessed not necessarily superpowers, but they had great strength. They also looked different. Again, the Olympians looked like human beings, but the giants were very tall and very large. They had the upper half of a human. They, in other words, they had a head, a neck, they had a chest and a stomach, they had two arms and two hands with fingers on each hand, of course. But their lower halves were different. Instead of legs, they had the body of a snake. In other words, they used to slither around instead of walking. And the giants became jealous of the Olympians. The giants eventually declared war on the Olympians and one of the leaders in the giants was Draco. Unlike the other giants, Draco looked like a dragon. And Draco led the giants to the top of the mountains on earth and they used their supreme strength to throw boulders into Mount Olympus. Now the Olympians did have superpowers, but they were vastly outnumbered. And they realized that they were losing they called upon the uh, on Hercules to help them out. And together, Hercules and the Olympians fought against the giants and they won. The goddess Athena seized Draco and she wrapped him up in a web and she tossed him into the sky. And Draco became stuck in the sky and he is now stuck there forever. And that is how Draco is in the sky. Thank you once again for joining me for this presentation of Constellation Stories. I hope that I have inspired you to explore the nighttime sky. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to type them below, or you may email me at gandrews at Stay curious.